I have a couple of documents that I would like to register as uh, uh, GL journal entries instead of uh, invoice cards. And uh, in order to do so, I need to adjust my purchase category first. So why don't we look at that? In here, I have three new fields in the bottom right corner, journal template section, where I need to select the template, the template name, and the batch name. And you can do a lookup, scroll through the lists, or simply type in the number or name of the table that we would like to, to, to link to this category. The reason why I'm doing this is that the category needs to know where to put the data in what table do we want to have the transfer, the same way that we are up here with the transfer to value when we create header or line data, purchase invoice, purchase credit memos. Uh, we fill in here the table name, where do we need the data to be transferred to, and that's the same way that we're doing here, which area of the bit center where we want, do we want to have the data placed in. And I chose that general journal template table, and I would like to have these uh, data today into the general uh, template where I have created for today's demonstration a DC named uh, batch. Uh, you could call it anything. You could call it a number or your name or vendor group type, whatever you need. Uh, this is just an example. DC, uh, because this is for my domain capture documents, of course. So now I've uh, prepared the category to move data either to the um, purchase area or to the general ledger area. So depending on my settings that I have in my template, the documents will go either to uh, one of the other areas. And let's see uh, this template for Paprika. We need to look into what we can do here also. And that would be in this top part, the registration area, step one. What do we want to happen when I press register? The default value is create invoice, but with a bit of lookup, I can see the list has a new uh, entry here called create journal lines. And if I select this one, a lot of other fields will then be hidden. The reason why we hide all these fields uh, is because that we in a general journal, we cannot create uh, lines with items, and therefore the order match section will be um, automatically hidden naturally. So uh, let's uh, keep that join line for the invoices and also the changes for my credit memos if you would like to have that too. Um, that's what I have to do. Just go back, and um, this document is fully recognized, and I would like it to be created now as a journal line instead. So just to point out what I recognize, I recognize uh, the full document with all the lines. We see they are translated into GL accounts. And let's jump back and simply press this register action to get moving. Oh, what happened here? Yeah, the document disappeared. And uh, I would expect it to show up in my general journal. And there it is. We have our Fabrican vendor entry line and a lot of uh, other geo lines for the content of the um, PDF. Let's go back to the journal because we need to reopen this document, of course. Sometimes I, I would like to change settings and, um, and how do we do this? I simply find my document here at the bottom and say this is one to reopen. So just like we have uh, the possibilities for purchase invoice registration, we can also, for the general journal registrations, reopen uh, document. And here you'll be notified that the related journal lines will be removed. So yes, please do that. And my document will then show up in my journal in here. And if we go one step back and look at our general journal, you will see that the lines have disappeared. They are now deleted. Back in the journal, uh, what I would like to do now is to have this uh, template a bit more uh, automated. I would like this uh, these recognized 
documents from Fabricam to be automatically posted when I register the document. <clears throat> we can do that the same way as when we handle the, uh, the other documents uh, where we create a purchase invoice. Now we simply create a journal line or journal lines and have them auto posted. So I did a, um, uh, I recognized a, the full document, a lot of lines. And when I click my register, select to create the journal lines and auto post them, I've been prompted to, uh, and, and, and so whether I want to have them registered, registered to have them posted. Uh, yes or no, yes, please go on. And now the document will be posted. And if you look into the journal, you of course see that the journal is empty. Yes. Quite easy and quite simple. Um, but uh, what if I don't want to recognize lines? I only want to have a header value, one account that I fill in. So I only recognize the total amount. In this case, the 270. And uh, I have uh, no lines recognized. We, we could check that. No lines recognized. We see it's all empty down here. Uh, that is, of course, also possible to handle. and. Um, We could also go into the template here, or we need to go into the template for this other vendor and change this to create journal lines. And if I want to, I could also have this auto posted. So we see that it also works for for the header accounts and not only for line recognition. Let's move on. Register this one and want to post it. Yes, please. It's been posted. Just to make sure that nothing is placed in my journal, it's all empty. Um, and that is quite nice, so I can save a lot of time. Let's try to uh, find the posted entries. I will look up my account 31400 and find my entries in here. I have um, a document here, Apple Mouse. So let's try to find entries for this one. And uh, running the find entries will give me a long list of all the entries created when we posted this invoice, these general journal lines. And as we see, we also have a DOM and capture document and the DOM and capture file available. And when I select the DOM and capture document, I see the the document from the DOM and card with all the lines recognized and uh, I. Um, uh, have everything I need in order to to uh, figure out what happened during the recognition, uh, why was this handled as it was, uh, just like we know from uh, the standard purchase invoices. So we, we get all the information needed through our find entries. This possibility to register documents as uh, journal lines instead of as purchase invoices is quite often uh, used when you have petty cash invoices or you have cost invoices that you don't need any approval for, uh, meaning that you could skip them, uh, skip the process and speed up the registration and make sure that you pay your vendors in due time. Um, and only send uh, documents for approval that is needed um, and where you need uh, a lot of details because in the purchase invoice card we have a bunch of columns and fields that might not be necessary for all vendors to have information in. And through that, you can then, uh, through this uh, new feature, you can uh, create journal lines instead that only contains the key information needed when you want to post the document. <clears throat> 